Okay, we're still fixing this one. As you can tell, it's not really working. It should look something similar to this, but with EEG. We had ChatGPT doing some changes for us. That is great. And it should go before fetch data and render. New code starts here, new code ends here. That's pretty neat, pretty handy. Yeah, we're essentially using different um, folders depending on if we are in production or not. Rest of the function doesn't say new code here. The the API URL fetch data and render const uh, this one here. So we're using endpoint instead of uh, instead of that. And we have get data in multiple places, do we? Yeah, we have this fetch in fetch data and update chart takes second as an input in that second line as well and we can comment that out I think and that uh, rest of the curve uh, let's test so obviously it won't work now because we need to redeploy it will be still working as um, in local development just want to make sure it's running locally as well so this is what it should look like it's working well we want the same in production. Yes, yeah, so now we're checking if uh, the JavaScript code will check if we are in production or not. And we need this to deploy. Deploy, deploy, deploy. It should work. Yay. Okay, that was quick and easy. Quick and easy. Nice. So, we'll make a few, just clean it up a bit. In HTML, can delete these copies. And in, this is a standard header for the project. Yeah, so this is now in production and we do want to add this standard header thing. Do we also need to make changes to how it looks like? Don't think so. Yeah, this is not great. This is a Flask application, so you can't really test the HTML by itself uh, which is a bit uh, unfortunate but that's just the way it is so all the inputs working okay logarithmic linear scale ah we also need the description uh, we need to remove yeah the, quite a few things to change but it's in production already so you can go check it out let me know what you think script is that's the beginning of a container it's all the same shall we add ads yeah might as well because or maybe because I'll forget later. Now another thing is this style file. 
we actually have a common style for the whole project is which we have to use because management says so uh, pop it in here yeah the styles here says we have to sort those out we don't want anything conflicting in them so for example yeah file scroller bar is unique to this so that's okay but then all this um yeah it's okay to have styling for the control yeah that's fine because we have our own template for the thing um, select input is okay raw signal plot is okay and i can't really test it on the server before actually deploying into production which should be fine the thing still works on the locally this is what we currently have in production spectrum plot that's okay this is just the input buttons they can remain the same i mean those checkboxes could have been made uh, bigger but we will sort it later we already made quite a few changes uh, this can be closed requirements flask numpy scipy pandas can be closed oh and we need a description for the project so we have this text that we started with wait a sec that's not it no 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 this one a flask uh, yep yeah. uh, display gene frequency domain um right because we also need a readme you can create a readme file you should have all the information yeah it's not the repository but that's okay and uh, no that's not good yeah the uh, license I think we we actually using Creative Commons uh, for I think attribution required. Um, okay, we can remove just a bit. Started with this code. Can remove that bit well, because we already have the code. Some more prompts and uh, that stuff that didn't work to begin with, but now it seems okay okay chat labels yeah we removed the play button um, and that's all the previous uh, prompts and things okay right we'll save that and turn Turn this text into a description of the web application. And yeah, that's correct. Size selector, the trend toggle, filter order. Uh, that's actually incorrect. Um, let me check. Yeah, filter order is now one to filter order selector is one to four with default of two. A uh, correct and turn into html all right i also forgot about those uh, yeah this description and uh, stuff it's in the top of the header the file is obviously different remind me to change this should have an image for the file 
What's the image called? AJ Spectrum something. I don't know if you need these two dots. I have the plot container. Uh, div div div. No, why it's this uh, JavaScript is called there. So we have that description. It's logging for some time. Why? Just normally check this thing works. Yeah, it does. Uh, don't have any errors. And uh, no. Right. We can close this for a sec. Why the head is on top? Should only come up after 10 seconds. No, now it's at the bottom. I think it's when the, the screen is small. Ooh, this is ugly. This is how it will look like on a mobile. Uh, yeah. Ah, wait. No, it is scaling the screen. Yeah, they don't really fit two of them. Yeah, the head comes up on top on smaller screens. I don't know why. That was a lot of errors just popped through. So I need to do the Google Ads. It doesn't like smaller, narrow screen, does it? Yeah, I think it's something in the screen. Yeah, it's working okay. And the next in line would be the noise removal. So it would be pretty much the same. But this one will have additional wavelet uh, denoising options. Uh, using a discrete wavelet transform 